some in the Jewish community and more broadly uh, say was an act of anti-Semitism in, in targeting a hospital with Jewish roots. What do you say to that? Uh, well, first, I'll start off by telling you that I am both uh, Jewish and an Israeli. Uh, I am part of the uh, Jews Say No to Genocide Coalition. Uh, we've attended uh, every single one of these rallies since they, uh, they started on October 7th. Uh, and I'll tell you without an ounce of doubt that uh, this um, rally did not stop uh, or target uh, Mount Sinai Hospital in any way, shape, or form. Uh, that was not, uh, that, that entire storyline is uh, a complete fabrication. It did not happen. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to pick up on one point because you, I think you're saying it didn't stop. It, it did stop, but you're saying it didn't stop intentionally outside Mount Sinai because of the Jewish roots that that hospital has. Wh why did it stop there? Why did the protest stop at that point? Um, people might have stopped there uh, because uh, one of the, you know, there's this <laughs> Spider-Man for Palestine is, uh, is, the, uh, is what he goes by. He climbs on a lot of buildings and uh, light poles and stop signs and uh, you, whatever he can climb on along the parade routes. Mm -hmm. And so he did, he did what he's been doing the whole, uh, you know, for all of these weeks, he stopped and climbed on this particular building, which, you know, it's, it's already nighttime. No one even knows what, what building is what. No one's paying attention even to the... Uh, to what building is what uh he just climbs and waves flags and he has a lot of uh everyone should check out his uh his instagram spider-man for instagram uh, spider-man for palestine he has a lot of examples of, of uh, how he does how he does that and, and yet here we have in the aftermath of it the prime minister condemning the protest the premier coming out and saying don't protest outside a hospital the toronto police have increased patrols along hospital row why do you think they're reacting yeah. that way uh, because I think the default uh, of everyone is to uh, criminalize uh, pro-Palestinian voices and activism. Uh, it is uh, insane uh, how, how this train is essentially the anti-Semitism runaway train is what happened yesterday. It took uh, a suggestion, a false suggestion by somebody on Twitter uh, to literally get this entire story in motion and everyone fell in line as they do every single time without even looking into the facts. Some, uh, some of the people, uh, Gore, I just, just want to jump in because you, you talk about some of the voices please. that were at the protest and, and, and among them, um, because there are, there are videos of the protest, among them are people calling for an intifada, for an uprising of the Palestinian people, um, waving Palestinian flags um, sure. outside. How, how do you frame that in, in the discussion of, uh, of what we are now talking about? You know, Antifada has a particular uh, meaning to the Palestinian community. It's it's their it's their struggle. It's um, they are um, you know everybody that's marching in these rallies is begging the world to understand that their people are being slaughtered in front of our eyes, twenty four seven, and. Um, they're trying to get attention however they possibly can. And there are a lot of chants that happen at these rallies that, um, is, that are well-known Palestinian chants uh, ha having to do with Antifada. Are, are, there are plenty of them, uh, chants that say it. And there's no, nothing but, but, to, but uh, there's nothing in these chants but to express that they are, um, they understand that they're in a struggle. They understand that they need to struggle for their survival. I do want to just ask you, because we've got a limited amount of time here, but the, this protest happened along Hospital Row. It happened, in fact, right outside the, the ambulance entrance bay for Mount Sinai Hospital um, and restricted access as a result. Do you think that the protests going forward, would you want to be part of an organization or, or organizing a protest that, that blocked access to uh, emergency workers? Uh, you know... There is no, uh, first we should, we should just make it very clear. The TPS, um, Toronto Police Services, have a massive presence at these protests. There is no, uh, when they don't want us to 
to go somewhere, they make sure we do not go somewhere. We, uh, we have traveled this route um, and these routes for literally, we've, we've probably done 40 different rallies over the past 18 weeks that have consistently traveled these routes. There was nothing new about last uh, about this Monday's route. There was nothing, um, you know, so it's, I guess my, my, my thought is that if, if the city has a problem with this route, mm-hmm. they, should, they, should, they should change it. You know, they should, they should not allow it. Um, but there is, again, no one that was actively targeting Mount Sinai Hospital. That is a fabricated story. Gersh Abar, thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you for being so generous with your uh, with your time and platform. That is Gur Shabar, who was one of the protesters outside Mount Sinai Hospital. As we've noted, the mayor, premier, and prime minister condemned the actions of protesters outside of the hospital um, on that day. Let's turn now to traffic and transit. TTC 